Howdy, Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple, and I wanted to show you this fabulous free resource for anyone that's either on the fence about QuickBooks Online or if you're a QBOA user wanting to practice your skills. This is a free sample company here that's available for QuickBooks Online users. I'm going to go ahead and click on the dashboard so that way you can see. It's called Craig's Design and Landscaping Services, and basically this sample company is kind of like a sandbox, if you will, where you can go in there, you can mess things up, you can try out things to make sure that you're understanding what you are doing to learn the standard workflows that are inherent in using such a platform. So anyway, it's free for anyone and even if you're not a QBOA or QuickBooks Online Accountant user, you can actually go to the link and sign into the Test Drive company without having a QuickBooks or Intuit ID. And I'm going to put the link to this in here. It's qbo.intuit.com forward slash redir forward slash test drive. And I'm going to put that in the comments. But I wanted you to see some of the things that you can do. And the developers are really good about trying to get some of these newer features in here so you can learn them. Like the new Quick Create, you can go ahead and click on that and do anything in here that you want to do. You can go to the banking center like I was in just a little while ago and just play around with some of the transactions in there. And it'll have these little pop-ups that you can go through to do like the little tutorials and stuff. Go into the expenses area or even the sales area and play around with some of those things and all, all sorts of stuff. You can even go into the chart of accounts and do some stuff in there with the chart of accounts and things like that. You can practice doing bank reconciliations as well with some of the dummy data that's in here. So anyway, it's a lot of things that you can do in this sample file. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard, but hopefully this will help some of y'all today who are either on the fence about QuickBooks Online and want to play around with it. Just remember that uh, you want to go in here in the gear area under the accounts and settings and do the extend the timeout period to three hours which I have a separate tutorial video on that so look for that if you want to know how to do that so I won't do it here but anyway great resource if you're wanting to learn QuickBooks Online or wanting to play around with it without messing anything up in your own records or don't want to invest any money or anything like that into doing it before you make that decision hopefully this will help somebody today thank you for watching this short tutorial I hope you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel and share it with others. I'm going to be adding more content this year and I look forward to helping you out with your QuickBooks and bookkeeping needs. Take care everybody and have a wonderful day.